Hello again, YouTube. I'm back with just an update video. Um, I'm just uh, trying to do some drywall patching here, as you can see um, from my recent work, uh, you know, done on the uh, this particular uh, uh, critical load panel, uh, which is actually a you know transfer switch. You can see the uh, interlock right here. And I've got it open uh, for you folks that, you know, kind of are curious to see what it looks like as far as on the inside when it's all said and done, uh, when it's done by uh, professional electricians. Uh, they did a really good job. I have no problem. I have no, you know, no gripes about what they've done. And, um, you know, I had recently, I ran this wire right here. It, it was yellow, uh, meaning it was a 12-3. Uh, wire which was uh, uh, had a maximum amp rating of 20 amps and the problem was that you know I had wire you know 20 amps coming in and it was connecting up to a uh, 30 amp wire at the bottom now being that I have 20 amp and and 15 amp breakers that would have that was no issue uh, because you know even though the wire was rated at 20 amps you know anything above it would trip one of the breakers so it was no issue however if a inspector was to look at that and say, well, you know, you've got 20 amps coming in and you've got, it's connecting down here to a 30 amp wire, you know, that, you know, they may or may not frown upon that. And so, you know, uh, so I decided to say, okay, I just bit the bullet and say, okay, it's, you know, forget, you know, screw it. I said, okay, fine. I'll rerun a 30 amp. This is a 10-3. And so I reran it, and so 10.3 is rated at 30 amps, so 30 amps connecting to 30 amps. And one other thing I wanted to kind of bring up is for you folks that want to uh, use a TED unit, um, these are two um, monitoring, uh, two um, uh, clamp-ons for what this, this is a monitoring, trans, uh, I'm sorry, measurement transmitting unit, uh, MTU. And what it is is it you know you you clamp these two connector these two clamp ons to the incoming wires from the utility. Now note this is dangerous because these two things are hot. They are hot, and yes, they will kill you if you don't respect them. And so this is how I have it connected so that I can read the utility voltage uh, coming in and going out. And as you can see here, this thing is blinking, and what it does it transmits that information. Uh, to this device which is a gateway device and I have another one on the solar side that does the exact same thing now taking a look at this right here also there is this black wire that feeds right into a circuit breaker and so and that provides the power and the medium or the uh, avenue of transmission the signal is transmitted through the electrical wires through something called uh, power line communications um, or PLC for short, power line communications. And so this is how it's done. And if you look on the top, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a red dot. You can probably see that the red dot has to be facing the where the power is coming into the circuit. So uh, that's very important or you're gonna get a, you're not gonna get an accurate reading. And uh, so, and you can see they're both installed the same way. Um, with this measuring, this transmission, uh, transmitting unit, there's like a serial number and you have to remember that so that when, you, when you're setting up the TED uh, interface that you set it up correctly. Um, so as you can see right here, uh, you know, all of my 120 breakers are off and my 220 breakers um, or yeah, our 240 breakers are on. And so, so this particular panel here, all it deals with is 220 volts. This particular panel here, it deals with uh, 120 volts. And I have this dual, dual uh, double throw breaker down here as a back feed into this, this particular breaker uh, so that I can energize my 240s with a propane generator so that I can like, have hot water or if I need to, to charge the batteries on a uh, particularly cloudy, you know, uh, extended cloudy period. And so this is how it's set up. And the reason being that I have this is, um, is so that I can, you know, energize just all of my 120s. You know, during a power outage, um, I don't even notice it. Uh, I won't even notice it because all of my 120s are being energized. So, you know, I won't even notice a flicker, I guess. I mean, maybe it may be a partial flicker. I mean, 
the switch over uh, from utility uh, to uh, the converter is really, really quick. So again, just to want to show you, this is the reason. This is the reason why I did this, so that I can power my 120s off of inverter uh, or a propane generator, if necessary. And if I needed to switch back to utility, all I would have to do is just simply flip this switch, and then all of these breakers, uh, these circuits, will be energized from the utility. So I can go back and forth. Um, so this is just a this is a, a 30 amp breaker and also you know 30 amp breaker you know 30 amp wiring so again i'm trying to be safe and uh, you know and if the inspect when the inspector comes and and does an inspection that you know i'll be up to code uh and that's again one of the primary reasons why i had a uh you know licensed electricians to come in and do the work um so again this is just another sub panel you can see the watt meters here and you can see the um, current transformers that are connected to the incoming wires and this these two this this is coming in from an inverter and if I switch a you know the circuit in here from inverter to generator then the power will be coming from a generator in here and then uh, energizing these two branches these two branch circuits right here and and if I you know this is already on if I flip this back feed, this back feed breaker on here then it will the generator can energize these two branches which are which have my water heater uh, the stove the HVAC um, you know the dryer uh, you know things of things of that nature and so you know and, and it also provides power it'll provide power back to my battery bank through another through this particular breaker here actually another back feed breaker uh, in providing input to my uh, inverter. So, you know, I think I pretty much have everything covered. Also, one thing to note that when you're dealing with this type of setup in an AC coupled situation, when you plug in a generator, the generator is not designed to work with micro inverters. So that's why I got this nice big sign, stop for safety, turn off grid tie inverter circuit breaker before connecting a 240 volt generator. And so essentially what it's saying is before connecting that generator in this particular slot and flipping that switch, uh, what I have to do is, or whoever needs to come in here, be aware that this, this particular circuit breaker exists and then just flip the switch, turn it off. Um, there are ways to ensure that takes place, take out the human element, but Again, I don't really see the need right now for me to, you know, put in voltage sensing relays and some additional stuff like that. But anyway, YouTube, this is just a little update. And for you folks that want to install a TED unit, um, this is how it's done. Again, you know, two clamp on uh, tra uh, measure, uh, measuring transmitting, uh, measuring trans MTU measurement transmitting unit. And you got two clamp ons for the incoming onto the incoming power coming from the utility. And then, you know, it transmits and it's good to go. And this is the transfer switch or critical load panel that I put in. Um, you know, you can get it online. I, I was searching for a while for this thing and this is what I wanted, um, you know, uh, for, a long, for a long time actually. And you can see how the electricians finally, you know, finished up the work. They had to extend the wires, which is, this is, you know, according to them, this is up to code. So, you know, you got wire nuts up here and each, everything is, you know, tightened down and everything and so forth. Um, different electricians, I'm sure they will do different things and they'll have different things to say about, you know, how things was done, how things were done. But the bottom line is, will it pass inspection and is it up to code? Um, and I do have a copy of the 2014 uh, NEC. Um, and but you see, I have a copy. I know about electricity, but that does not make me an electrician. So uh, therefore, I depend on other folks that are electricians to make sure that this is up to snuff. Okay, take care, YouTube.